Beverage Center. We're your one-stop shop. Building better schools. Today at 5, 13 ABC Action News. Straight ahead, the debate heats up over how much prison time some drug-related crimes should lead to. What you need to know about issue one. A new partnership is aiming to help you earn more college credit, but spend less money. Also honoring the men and women who risk their lives to protect our communities, how they're getting some national recognition. This is 13 ABC Action News Good Morning with Sasha Bray and Jeff Smith. Glad to see you here as we usher you into the weekend here on this fantastic, uh, I, I almost said frigid Friday. It's oh. not frigid necessarily, but it definitely, I, I broke down this morning. I grabbed a, a, a light jacket. <laughs> <laughs> And then I saw his jacket and I was like, I should have brought one of those. <laughs> you had jacket envy. I, I, I did have jacket envy. You may envy. have jacket envy today. It's in my car, keeping my car warm. So I'll be going to get that we after the show We should go around and take a poll at the bus stop and see how many kids have jacket envy. So, <laughs> what do you have for lunch? <laughs> Let's check in with Ross Eller right now. Is it now. warm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shorts weather, it's over with here. And we do have some jacket weather conditions out there right now down into the 40s. So it is a cool start to the day. It isn't into the 30s. It could be colder. We don't have any frost out there. Uh, but right now, starting off at 41 in Hillsdale, 47 in Toledo, Finley's at 48. A few clouds coming in, actually keeping temperatures just a little bit warmer than where we would be if we didn't have that this morning. Regardless, that morning commute is dry. So as you get in the car, you may have to turn on the heater. But outside of that, the winds are down. And the, again, dry conditions. Temperatures, though, are a bit on the chilly side compared to this time yesterday, about 10 to 15 degrees colder compared to when you were heading out the door at the same time yesterday. Now today we'll be up to 49 at noon, 52 at 3 o'clock. More clouds move in as we head throughout the day and even some showers, but it'll target this evening. So dry this morning, dry for the lunch hour, the evening commute home, a few showers move in and we'll talk more about what that means for those high school football games later on in the show. But right now, let's go back over to Heather with a look at your Contrada Law Time Saver Traffic. The only incident being reported so far this morning out on the expressways is still that construction in place on northbound I-75 as you're getting toward downtown Toledo. Shouldn't add too much time to your morning commute, though, if any. You can see the rest of our expressways looking nice and clear right now. All green from Monroe County all the way down through Bowling Green and beyond. So that's some good news here for us this morning. Taking a live look, I-75 right at I-280. Northbound traffic coming toward us. South Southbound traffic on I-75 moving away from us. And as you can see, everybody moving nice and smoothly right now at 602. I'll be back in 10 minutes with another check your Contrada Law time saver traffic. All right, 602 right now. The Washington Post reporting the government of Turkey is telling the U.S. it has audio and video recordings that prove a Saudi group killed one of their journalists. This closed circuit uh, footage shows the Saudi journalist heading into what Turkish authorities say it was a quote-unquote death trap. The Saudi journalist vanished almost two weeks ago after he went inside the Saudi Arabian embassy in Istanbul, Turkey, to get marriage paperwork to marry his fiancée. Now, senators in both parties here in the U.S., they say they want answers. The intel points directly at them and them uh, thinking about this in advance. The administration will have to pay attention to that. Where somebody apparently has been murdered because they had the audacity to speak out uh, against the ruling people in their country. If we do nothing, what do we stand for? Saudi Arabia repeatedly denied any involvement in the disappearance. State troopers have now closed the investigation into that accident that involved a car and a horse that happened in Providence Township late last month. Troopers determined that the man on horseback was at fault. Police believe David Glenn had been drinking while riding that horse that night on Old US 24. According to the crash report, troopers on scene saw a wine bottle next to the horse saddle. Authorities also say he was riding on the wrong side of the road and was not wearing any reflective clothing. When a trooper interviewed him at the ER, Glenn stated he had two margaritas earlier that night. It's not a motor vehicle, but it falls under the laws of a motor vehicle where you can get, you can be, if you're impaired and operating or riding a horse, you can be charged for the, the OVI for it, which is operation of a vehicle under the influence. It's now up to the prosecutor to decide on the severity of the charges that might be involved in this case. We'll keep you posted. 604 right now the debate over issue one here in Ohio continues to gain steam. The bill is designed to reduce major drug offenses to an equivalent of a traffic violation. 
Supporters say it'll save money, while local law enforcement agencies are against the bill because they claim it will create more drug-related issues. Fentanyl will kill you, and it can kill up to 95 to 10,000 people, the amount that's legal to possess before you get any jail time. So it makes absolutely no sense to us why this would be acceptable, why we would want this in our state. Not everyone is necessarily meant to be in prison. Uh, prisons were designed to protect society from people who are violent, who can hurt society. Most low-level drug offenses are by people who are drug abusers or by regular everyday people that get caught up in a bad situation. I don't feel like they should lose their lives. Taxpayers will get to vote on the bill next month. The city of Toledo has issued boil advisories that affect more than 1,100 customers today, and these advisories are because of a pressure drop in the system. The first area highlighted on this map is framed by Holland, Sylvania and Cory Roads, as well as Central and Sylvania Avenues. We're also zooming into the second area affected by the advisory, and that's north of Florence Avenue, from East Broadway to Oak, and then up to Fairmont. The city says these advisories will expire today at 5 p.m. City leaders are saying the public might actually see more of those kinds of situations. They're called closed system boil advisories over the next few months. It's all amid work to bring the new electrical systems for six new pumps online at the Collins Park water treatment plant. 606 and we're getting some new images this morning of the damage left behind by Hurricane Michael. All right, Sean Haggerty live this morning with us here on the set uh, with some of those images just coming in. Yeah, we're going to see quite a few of them here in the next couple of days. Nothing was spared in really some of these hardest hit areas. I want to show you aerial images. This is Lynn Haven, Florida. Check out this church. This is the Central Pentecostal Church. And when that storm came through, it ripped off much of the exterior, the signage, sending debris all over. Not clear yet from church leaders about what is next for this building. A new legal battle is brewing for a California baker who refused to make a cake for a same-sex couple. Kathy Miller prevailed in the state lawsuit earlier this year. In August of 2017, a couple filed a lawsuit because Miller refused to create a custom wedding cake for the same-sex wedding celebration. Then the Department of Fair Employment and Housing filed a civil suit and a judge ruled it was Miller's right to free speech. The state was allowed to continue its investigation and the judge allowed the state to do that to see if there's any new evidence that would change the existing judgment. The state says it has new evidence and a new case has been filed. Did you know that there is a royal wedding happening today? Not some of the names you probably know from the British royal family, but some of the well-known names are there. Charles is there. This is the wedding for Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank. Eugenie is ninth in line to the throne. Some royal fans from as far as Australia and the U.S. are there for the event. Princess Harry, William, there they are, along with Meghan and Kate. And these are some of the folks arriving there. And Disney fans, this is your first peek at the upcoming Aladdin remake. It's the first trailer for Disney's live action adaptation, the popular 1992 animated movie. This was released yesterday, even though the new movie won't come out until May 24th of next year. The original Aladdin raked in more than half a billion dollars in sales. In this new version, a Canadian actor, Amina Masood, am I saying that right, plays the main character. In addition to Aladdin, Disney's also working on remakes of The Lion King and Dumbo. Has anybody heard who the genie is going to be? Yes. Yeah? He's going to get jiggy with it? He's going to be a fresh new genie. And that's all we're saying. That's it. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Will Smith. Will Smith playing that role. I didn't think he, he got it. I thought he was actually working. We, we, we had actually is, talked about it earlier. It, yeah. So oh, okay. I saw it. Uh, Late to the on. party. No, 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 not at all. In fact, uh, people at home are sitting there going, "There, what? There's going to be a live action Aladdin? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. Still to come here this morning, how costly is the worldwide mental health crisis? We dive into that in our morning health report. And don't forget your jacket this morning. It is chilly and it's getting colder in that seven-day forecast. We'll look at when we'll see some frost and also a few showers move into the area coming up. And ahead at 630, we're gearing up for Football Friday, the big games and what to expect, where the toughest matches are. We'll talk about all of it. It's time to express yourself with the new Art Van Furniture Fall Home Collection. Wow your room with color and with leather. You can go your own way. It's your style. Now go ahead and make a statement and personalize it with an extra 20% off plus 20 months no interest. If you haven't seen us lately, you haven't seen us. Art Van Furniture and ArtVan.com. Your home 
your way. His name is Paul. Okay, meet me out front. Watch this. Light it up! Some people like to play it safe. Whoa, sorry about the cat. If you're not one of them, play Mega Millions. <laughs> I'm Sherrod Brown. This is Franklin. Six years ago, we got a letter about something we needed to address. Across Ohio and nationwide, tainted Chinese dog treats were poisoning and killing pets. Thousands of dogs were getting sick. We got to work to stop it. Sherrod Brown took the lead. He fought to protect the animals and make sure the dog treats were taken off the shelves. All of our friends should be safe from tainted products. That's why we approve this message. I still see the pain in my dad's eyes when he talks about the loss of my sister Becky. Family is at the core of everything Mike DeWine does. That's why he's always protected Ohio's families. It's why he supports health care coverage for people with pre-existing conditions. It's why he sued the drug companies for causing the opioid crisis. And it's why he tested every last rape kit to get justice for victims. My dad has a caring heart, and we need that now more than ever. First Warning Weather, sponsored by ProMedica Hospice. Well connected. 13 ABC First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ross Ellett. And a good Friday morning. It is chilly outside right now. 45 degrees, your current temperature. So a lot of clouds. A little break in the clouds, though, allowing the temperature to drop a bit. But still a breeze out there making you feel even cooler. So right now the wind chill, 40 degrees. Jackets required this morning, to, at least to stay comfortable for most of us, I think. Now as we go into the afternoon today, clouds will continue to move back in. And along with those clouds, temperatures here will stay nice and cool. Only getting into the lower 50s for today. Take a look at Hillsdale, Hillsdale here, right at 49 degrees here this afternoon. That's it. So while temperatures this morning are cool, we just don't warm up a whole lot for today. Now by this afternoon, again, more clouds will be with us. A chance of showers this evening. Once the rain moves through tomorrow morning, turning chilly down into the mid to upper 30s. There's a slim chance here for some frost, a better opportunity to the west of I-75 where you see those temperatures here dropping off only a few degrees away from the freezing mark. So here's a look at those frost chances here as we go throughout the next several days. Coming up for early Saturday morning, a 30% chance of frost. Again, most of that west of I-75. Sunday and Monday morning, frost is not expected, but Tuesday and also Thursday of next week, Frost is likely as temperatures will just get a little bit colder here during those morning hours. Now for today, we're going to trade in the sunshine that we had yesterday for more clouds, unfortunately, and a chance for a few showers. We're going to be dry for the morning commute, dry for the lunch shower. The evening drive home, you may have just enough rain to turn on the windshield wipers. Coming up around 6 to 7 o'clock this evening for tailgating for those high school football games. The rain moves back in and showers are likely here for those games coming up tonight, especially south and east of Toledo. By 11 o'clock, the rain is gone and by tomorrow morning, it turns clear and chilly once again. Late Saturday afternoon, lots of sunshine though will develop and the weekend overall looks great. I know there are a lot of activities here taking place around the area here. We are going to see those temperatures that are going to be sitting right into the low 50s for today. Now a lot of activities taking place this weekend, including the Lighthouse Festival out in Lakeside and also Marblehead. Of course, the uh, Apple Butter Fest in Grand Rapids as well. We're talking about uh, that coming up on Sunday and that forecast is coming up. But again, Saturday, a lot of sunshine, a few more clouds for your Sunday today 52 degrees rain is likely after 5 o'clock this evening it should wrap up by 11 o'clock for tonight and then turning chilly we're down to 36 overnight tonight and 53 for tomorrow mostly sunny and a cool one for us for tomorrow afternoon that seven day forecast showing those temperatures here that'll stay in the 50s for the next seven days one other opportunity of rain though after this evening and that comes up on Monday morning 40% chance of showers after that goes through we are looking at some dry, calm conditions, sunshine on Tuesday, but frost in the morning. Same deal coming up on Thursday, but we may say dry not only through the work week next week, but potentially into the following weekend hmm. as well. All right, thank you, Ross. Let's check in with Heather now. Contrada Law, time saver traffic. 
Wood County drivers, this update is for you. So we have this pavement widening project here in place on Fremont Pike, right at the intersection of State Route 163. We've been dealing with this closure at that intersection all week long, and ODOT says that today is the last day that we're dealing with this closure here. So drivers, until that reopens later today, we're still detouring using State Route 420 up to I-280, up to 795, all the way over to I-75, and then back to the other side of Fremont Pike. That'll get you around this closure, but keep in mind, if you're heading out maybe in the next couple of minutes and you usually use Fremont Pike right near Stony Ridge. You're going to have to plan some extra time this morning for that detour. But again, ODOT says today is the last day for this closure here on Fremont Pike right at State Route 163. That's a check your control law time saver traffic. 615 this morning, the president of Lords University out in Sylvania and Owens Community College are making an announcement. They're signing a dual admission partnership called Gray Wolf Express, and basically it'll help students save time and money by creating a direct pathway from an associate's degree at Owens to a bachelor's degree at Lords. The big announcement happens this morning at 9. We'll have an update for you today at noon. So the story is making headlines in the Blade News slide. The Toledo Walleye have unveiled new menu items for the 2018-2019 season. We're talking about new burgers on the menu, ice cream selections. We're looking at what looks like a Gorgeous Chicago style hot dog right there. Available for fans at home opener at the home opener later this month. And the Blades Kirk Baird movie reviewer, he uh, is reviewing bad times at the El Royale. His verdict? It's mostly good, he says. But then he adds some other stuff, which isn't so good. You can read more about these stories and others on the Blade News Slide app. Sasha? There's an easy way to lower your chance of getting type 2 diabetes. Here's Melissa Vach with your Healthy Morning Report. Good morning, everyone. The mental health crisis could easily cost the world $16 trillion by the year 2030. That is if a collective call to address the issue doesn't get addressed. So much of this is because of the stigma associated with mental illness. It's estimated by the World Health Organization that around 300 million people worldwide suffer from depression. 50 million have dementia and 60 million have bipolar disorder. Eating dairy products could lower your chances of developing type 2 diabetes. This is new research from Cambridge University. It, the lower risk was as much as 30% in some people, but given the high fat in some dairy products, it is recommended that you keep the dairy to low fat options of milk, yogurt, and cheese. Three more states are now reporting pockets of children with a polio-like virus. Originally, there were six cases in Minnesota. Now, the Illinois Department of Health is investigating nine cases of acute flaccid myelitis, also called AFM. All the cases are in kids younger than 18. Washington State investigating four cases, and Colorado has confirmed 14. The symptoms are sudden onset paralysis or weakness in limbs. It is caused by a rare enterovirus. This needs immediate emergency attention. That is a look at your healthy morning. I'm Melissa Vage. Have a great day. 617 and 45 degrees. All right, when well, we come back on this Friday morning, a local man now charged with a disturbing crime. We're tracking these developments just miles from Toledo next. Healthy Morning, brought to you by the Toledo Clinic. Geography is a funny thing when you think about it. Because I live here, should my access to great health care be any different than... If I live here? Or here. I love where I live, and I can't imagine being any place else. So long as the very best care is where I am. Prometica brings exceptional cancer care home wherever home may be. The best way to beat cancer is to catch it early. Visit Prometica.org slash cancer to see if you're due for a screening. Choose Howard Hanna, the number one home seller in Ohio. Our expert agents utilize the most advanced technology in real estate to sell your home faster, easier, and for more money. Are you ready to make the move? Visit howardhanna.com slash go green. It's very difficult to find someone who's not been directly impacted by the opioid epidemic. Going through these experiences and trying to help people as a pastor, there's only so much that you can do. I turned to Congressman Latta. Congressman Latta was interested not only in bringing money to the problem, but making sure that it actually became part of the solution. The Info Act that he authored does just that. I know Congressman Latta cares about solving this crisis. I'm Bob Latta, and I approve this message. 
The weight of partisan fighting and special interest influence has broken Washington, and Tim Wahlberg helped make it happen. In his over 20 years in office, Wahlberg has added over $5 trillion to the debt. As mayor of Saline, Gretchen Driscoll ignored special interests and worked with Republicans and Democrats to balance the city budget 14 years in a row. In Congress, Driscoll will stop special interest money to balance the budget and bring down health care costs. I'm Gretchen Driscoll, and I approve this message. starts with the right house. That's where we come in. Howard Hanna. Home happens here. You're never more than 10 minutes away from a check of your forecast. Let's head over to Ross Ellett. Good morning. Well, good morning. Temperatures continue to slide a couple degrees here. It is chilly, especially compared to what we've been used to. 45 right now in Toledo. Jacket weather, certainly in Adrian over to Hillsdale, where we're starting off the day at 41, 47 in Fremont and in Tiffin. Your bus stop forecast showing temperatures dropping another degree yet before the kids head outside. 44 degrees expected this morning. That morning commute will stay dry. It'll be chilly. Sunrise time coming up at 745. Another hour and 25 minutes away from now. Let's take a look at those temperatures here for the afternoon. We'll be right around 52 degrees for that high. A lot of clouds moving back in and a few showers are likely tonight. That'll be between 5 and 11 p.m. So think high school football games tonight, generally about 7 to say 930 or so, and that is when we're going to have the majority of that rain. Tomorrow, though, the lots of sunshine, and on Sunday, the Apple Butter Fest in Grand Rapids looks good as well. We'll be warming up to 59, getting closer to 60 degrees and dry as we go throughout your Sunday as well. Let's go over to Heather now. She's got a look at your Contrada Law Time Saver Traffic. Well, I just got off the phone with Toledo Police, and so far for your Friday morning drive, we're not tracking any crashes out on the road so far. Taking a live look here, I-70 right at I-280. We are seeing one vehicle here pulled off the side of the road here. Looks like a semi might be disabled or uh, but just keep in mind you might see that as you're heading out the door this morning. But again, Toledo Police not reporting any uh, accidents out on the roads right now. I-75 at 475 right here in Toledo. Traffic building here, especially on that ramp from 475 to northbound I-75. But again, not tracking any issues to slow you down here at 621. That's a check. You're controlled a law time saver traffic. 621, as she said, new this morning in her crime and safety alert for you. A Michigan man charged in connection to a child pornography investigation. A grand jury indicting the man named Riley Griffin on multiple charges. Authorities say he sent and received several images of minors in sexually explicit situations last month. He also allegedly sent those images to an undercover agent. New this morning from our Washington Bureau, there is a new place in our nation's capital where you can learn about the country's law enforcement history and also honor the sacrifices of the men and women in blue. It's the brand new National Law Enforcement Museum, and it features artifacts from some of the biggest crime stories, including a stained bulletproof vest from the standoff with the Branch Davidian cult in Waco, Texas. It also includes the rifle used by the D.C. sniper. The museum also has a Hall of Remembrance, which features the faces of officers and deputies killed in the line of duty over the last year. It's intended for the visitors, our visitors who may not be aware of the memorial, to understand the sacrifice, the day-to-day -day losses that the law enforcement profession has suffered. It will create an awareness that will benefit everyone. The museum is not funded by taxpayer dollars, so there is a fee to get in. It officially opens to the public tomorrow. 623, we're still at 45 degrees, and Samsung seems to be closer than ever to producing its long-discussed foldable phone. We're going backwards now. Here's your Tech Bytes. In today's Tech Bytes, Samsung hyping its foldable phone. A top company executive saying the long-rumored device will be used as a tablet that can be folded into a phone. The company says the foldable phone could debut as soon as next month at Samsung's developer conference. And Apple seems ready to fight robocalls. Yeah, the company has filed a patent for technology allowing an iPhone to determine if an incoming call is from a legit source. If that's not the case, the phone would send the user a warning it's unclear if or when the technology will be used in a future iPhone. And finally, a robot showing off some mad athletic skills. This is the Atlas robot. It's the latest star from the robot masters at Boston Dynamics. Atlas seems ready for American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> Each step up on that staggered set of boxes was nearly 16 inches high. Good going, Atlas. Not bad at all. Those are your tech bites.
All right, we'll get you up to speed on the huge lottery jackpots this weekend from your official lottery station. Bites. Sponsored by Lyrica. Before I had the shooting, burning, pins and needles of diabetic nerve pain, these feet made waves in high school, had a ball being a dad, and built a career in construction. But I couldn't bear my diabetic nerve pain any longer, so I talked to my doctor, and he prescribed Lyrica. Nerve damage from diabetes causes diabetic nerve pain. Lyrica is FDA approved to treat this pain from moderate to even severe diabetic nerve pain. Lyrica may cause serious allergic reactions, suicidal thoughts or actions. Tell your doctor right away if you have these, new or worse depression, unusual changes in mood or behavior, swelling, trouble breathing, rash, hives, blisters, muscle pain with fever, tired feeling or blurry vision. Common side effects, dizziness, sleepiness, weight gain, swelling of hands, legs and feet. Don't drink alcohol while taking Lyrica. Don't drive or use machinery until you know how Lyrica affects you. Those who've had a drug or alcohol problem may be more likely to misuse Lyrica. Now I have less diabetic nerve pain. If you're eligible, you could pay as little as $25 a month. Visit Lyrica.com. Aiden Hubble Stabley is too extreme for Wood County. He called our dedicated police officers death squads, murderers, monsters. Aiden also said our police hate black people. Aiden Hubble Stabley called Bowling Green decrepit. We deserve better. We already have better. Teresa Gavarone, a strong, respected small business owner who works hard for Wood County every day because character matters. Endorsed by law enforcement, our state representative, Teresa Gavarone. The fall mattress sale is on, only at Art Van Pure Sleep. Save an extra 20% off the sale price on top name brand mattresses. Free delivery, no interest for up to 72 months, or get a free power base with any king or queen mattress. Introducing Adrenaline 2.0, a bed in a box with copper infused gel foam. Queen mattresses start at just $5.59. The fall mattress sale at Art Van Pure Sleep. Shop now, in store, and at artvan.com. Well, tonight is your chance to win more than half a billion. Yeah, half a billion. <laughs> Mega Millions drawing tonight is for an estimated $548 million. And tomorrow night's Powerball drawing is going to be for $314 million. You can watch both drawings live at 11 o'clock right here on your official lottery station, 13 ABC. 627 and a local group is working to raise money to find a cure for multiple sclerosis. The Toledo chapter of the National MS Society holding its annual dinner of champions last night. The local chapter has raised more money than the chapters in Columbus, Cleveland and Akron. And this event is a big part of that. We don't know what causes it and we don't have a cure, but in the last year and a half, we have had breakthroughs that have produced the first drug for primary progressive, and there was never one before. 13 ABC's Ben Cathy was MC of last night's event. He told us the 50-50 raffle raised $35,000 alone, and that doesn't include what they raised through ticket sales or the silent auction. It is 627 right now. We've got 45 degrees. New developments about the death toll from Hurricane Michael coming up in our next half hour. This morning. Finish the sentence for me. Melania Trump is. The exclusive first look at the interview is on GMA. Then tonight. Let's talk about the jacket. The jacket. Don't miss the ABC event being Melania tonight at 10 9 Central on ABC. Real people steal people. They want real power and real value. Get a BGA 45 battery powered blower for just $129.95. Or step up to the BGA 56 for just $199.95. Plus, save $60 on the MS250 gas-powered chainsaw. Just $299.95 for a limited time. This fall, get a real solution. Get a steal. Invisible, invasive, underestimated. Nematodes are stealing over 10% of yields, and current protection methods aren't enough. But a breakthrough seed treatment technology controls nematodes when they attack. Now offering Nemastrike technology. It provides broad spectrum control from the start and stays in the root zone as plants grow. Take back your bushels with Nemastrike technology. Strike where nematodes attack.
A good night's sleep is worth a million bucks, but a new mattress shouldn't cost a fortune. Stop into our Levis Common Showroom where I've simplified the process and we'll show you the best mattresses available today. What puts the wow in Window World? Is it our buying power? With our 200 store network offering higher quality products for less. Or Window World's true lifetime warranty, covering installation, performance, even glass breakage. Or that we offer guaranteed bottom line pricing every day. Are you ready to be wowed? Get seven Energy Star Premium windows installed with a lifetime limited warranty for only $28.90. Not only do we stand behind our windows, we